in R we have essentially two types of vectors atomic vectors and uh, lists the difference between these two types is that atomic vectors will hold homogeneous data and lists will hold obviously heterogeneous data so conceptually you can store strings and in numbers inside a list and you can only hold numbers or strings um, inside an atomic vector so uh, let's review some of the concepts behind uh, lists in R so can you tell the difference between these first statement and the second one. The difference is that here, because we are writing uh, this syntax, we'll be loading 10 vectors or 10 atomic vectors into this list. So um, inside X, you can see that we have uh, this first element, this second element, and so on. Now, in X2, the story is completely different. You can see that we are only having one element, which is list, or which is, to be more exact, um, a vector here. So, this might uh, lead to some confusion, and this is where the str operator appears. It's very, very uh, illustrative to use it here, so let's use that str on x. Here you can see that we have uh, 10 numeric elements, so that's good. And then we can do the same thing for x2. And here you can see that we have uh, one element here, but it's a vector from 1 to 4, and it's a vector of integers. So this um, function is very, very useful. So uh, the important message here is to be very careful whether you are loading numbers this way or um, this way. Naturally, you can also do the, this. And here you can see that I have uh, numbers and uh, characters. So an important uh, thing that you might need is to reference a specific item within a list. So here with x, if I do, let's say, 11, you can see that I get this horrible syntax here. Um, and this is because this is not the proper way of referencing a specific element within a list in R. So in order to do this correctly, we need to add um, Let's do this this way. So you can see the difference. Um, this is the proper way of referencing a specific element within a list. You know, you can see that I don't have this. Of course, I could have used a special trick. Um, I could have used the unlist operator. So unlist. Uh, destroys the list and returns the atomic elements there. So I could essentially do this. So you can see that because I use the unlist operator here, I can just use um, uh, this. I don't need to put the twice uh, the repeated uh, characters here. It's just only once each. And uh, anyway, because I use the unlist, uh, this destroy the list structure that, I, that is being returned here, and that's fine. Now, you might be wondering what's the str on um, x11. So this is the key element. When we are referencing like this, an element of a list, it returns again a list. So that's the that's the issue. So this, uh, as I said before, this is resolved by either using twice these um, characters or by using the unlist operator. So both of them will destroy the list that is being returned 
and we'll just pick what's inside of that list. So that's super, super important. And the final thing um, I wanted to discuss is the, or, or is how we load things into lists. So one thing is to do this, you can see that the str here will, will give me that I have two elements, one, 29, 29, 12. Now, another way would be uh, this, um, let's do first, and second. So, you can see that now I have uh, proper names, and I can naturally reference them like this. So Q uh, first uh, returns the uh, 129. So one thing is that I can call each element in the list like this, and another way would be to use this operator. Where is it? Um, I can use the index, and this will return the same thing. Um, it is important to see what's first. Let's see what first is. So first is obviously a vector of numbers. So remember that here I'm loading two vectors, or two atomic vectors, in fact. Um, so 129, 29, 12. And Naturally here, the same issue happens if I call, instead of using twice, so let's just do this once more. Remember this, if I do Q1, this will return a list. Um, So my, my point is that uh, the, f the fact that we added uh, an index here or a column name or a name that um, tells that the, this first element is, will be called first and the second one will be called second, um, this doesn't affect the structure of the list. It is basically the same that we had before and in fact the same rules apply. If we call um, like this, uh, one, this will return a list, uh, if we, and this is what we can see here, uh, and obviously if we use the repeated uh, syntax, we'll be returning not the list, but the vector inside the list, and certainly if I use the unlist operator, I, I destroy the list uh, structure and I get the exact same thing as if I was using this syntax over here.